Yo, let's go to uh, Kotobukiya. All right, Kotobukiya. Let's start with the dark mall. Dark mall. The only thing they had at San Diego was a picture of the drawing of the dark mall, which I thought was cool because it was. It's something we haven't seen yet. You know, no, I don't think anybody has done a dark mall like this. I know Hasbro did a little figure of Hat. I won't say Hasbro again. Um, did a little figure of him training without the without the without a shirt or anything but um, but this statue looks really cool it looks really cool I like the pose very dynamic very different he, he you know he's basically training with only this uh, like a skirt thing and um, you know no shirt no no shoes just him the lightsaber and the little skirt and that's it he's on top of rocks and the face looks fantastic and um, I'm glad they went that way they didn't just do another Darth Maul that it's been done over and over again. So that was cool. Really like the Darth Maul. Um, what else? Um, whew, all right. <clears throat> hold up, hold up. Mm. <clears throat> Sabretooth. Let's go to Sabretooth. If you haven't seen it, again, San Diego, it was there. Took some video on it, right? Um, Sabretooth looks kick-ass. The way that it was presented in, in the... Uh, over there at San Diego. Obviously, it was a prototype, so they were still it's still pending. And um, talking to Eric Sosa, who sculpted it, by the way, um, he was telling me that uh, he was waiting to see what Marvel would do with the uh, with the deer. And like it has a deer on the base. I'm sure you're looking at it right now. Um, and I was ho and he, finally and he has a deer like a dead deer in the in, in, on the base, and he has one of the legs all broken up in his arm. It looks it looks amazing. I mean, it, it it's saber tooth right there, Papo taking a uh, a little midnight snack, um, which looks awesome. But guess what? Marvel said no to the deer, and I'm you know what? And obviously, you know, Kotobukiya being Kotobukiya, you know, professional whatnot. No questions asked, no problem. You don't want it. That's it. You know what I'm saying? They really can't do that much. But see, when I'm the P2, and what the. Mm, is Marvel thinking? I mean, seriously, you portray, you know, Sabretooth ten times worse on the comics. And by that, I mean, you know, ripping shit off, you know, when he dies, you know, arms flying around his head. You know what I'm saying? And you, why can I not have that crap in 3D in a statue? Huh? Why do you have to say no to awesomeness? That doesn't make any sense to me. That doesn't make any sense to me. You understand, Marvel? You suck. You suck balls. You get, you know, you get this awesome statue of Sabretooth eating. It wasn't even eating. It was just a dead deer, all scratched up. He has the leg, you know, in his arm. Like he, you know, he was eating, and then he smelled Wolverine. He's like, "Where you at, bitch?" You know what I'm saying? Looks awesome. But no, no, no. We can't have the deer because we suck. That's, I mean, there's no other, you know what I'm saying? I mean, if, if if he wasn't portrayed like that in the comics, I would understand, you know. Oh, he was never, you know, he never showed him with blood or, you know, dead animals or killing anybody in the comics. So this is just not, you know what I'm saying? Hell no! It's freaking Sabretooth! All you see him is ripping crap off, guts and crap and blood. But no, 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 God forbid there's a statue portraying, portraying him like that, you know what I'm saying? Holy crap, holy crap. So I'm pissed. I'm pissed. Um, I still think Andy Sosa did an awesome job, and I'm still, I, I'm sure it's still gonna be fantastic. Whatever they put on the base, if they put anything or on his arm, it, you know, it's still an awesome sculpt. He looks freaking awesome. Looks like an animal. So I'm pumped. And Marvel, you know, thumbs down on that. Thumbs down. I know you're probably not even seeing this, but thumbs down, bitch. Thumbs down. Um. All right. You know, the rent. My bad. Um. What else? What else? Oh, Colossus work in progress pictures from Eric Sosa, looking pretty badass. Um, can't wait to see the final thing, paint it up and whatnot. Um, Colossus looks like he's gonna kick some ass. He's gonna plant somebody on the ground, and um, that's what it looks like. <laughs> looks like he was gonna mess somebody up. Um, but yeah, that's Colossus. And um, by the way, I have to say, um, Kodoka's Marvel line has been doing awesome for about a year or something like that, right? If I'm not mistaken, yeah. And um, I was talking to Eddie, Eddie was telling me how, how good it's doing, how the pieces are feeling great, 
and whatnot, and um, you know, and, and he's he's really really modest. I'm like, Papa, you know why, bitch? Because of you. You know what I'm saying? And he's also the one doing all this crap. The only reason Marvel's at the Kodokia's Marvel line is kicking ass is because of Eric Sosa and his gang. You know what I'm saying? Because they're kicking major ass. Eric Sosa sculpting some awesome stuff. Bam! That's the difference between Marvel back then, Kodokia's Marvel, and now. You know what I'm saying? So, Papo, you are changing the game in Marvel Landia at Kodokia. That's all I got to say. Um, and last but not least, is a quick, it's a really small picture of. Um, of a design for the Fantastic Four diorama that they're trying to make and, and it's a diorama that will come in four pieces you've got four actual statues that you can put them together uh, I don't even know how, how much I can blow up the picture without making it all crap but you know you can kind of see it there in that picture but anyways awesome I think that's enough for the Wukia and let's go to Weta last but not least at all so let's go to Weta um, the first thing I gotta talk about is the District 9 exosuit, which is holy crap. If you haven't seen the video I shot for San Diego Comic Con, I suggest you pause this, check it out, bam! Check out some pictures at the White Up place and whatnot. It is sick. I am so pumped with this. Mm. After I saw the movie, the first thing that I wanted, collectible wise, was an exosuit. I saw Weta doing the, uh, um, the guns and whatnot. And I'm waiting for the way that's for the suit suit and walking down the aisles of uh, San Diego. I passed the way that booth and bam, there it is. I had a freak, a freak attack, you know, and I just started filming. And um, oh my god, it is awesome! It is awesome in person. It is just freaking amazing. If you're looking at the pictures now, I mean, it looks whoo, mm, it looks fantastic. I'm super pumped for this piece. Um, I think it's 600 bucks, which is expensive, you know, but pff, anything over $100 is expensive. <laughs> but, um, but holy crap. Um, yeah, I don't really care. It is, it is awesome. It is awesome. Um, there's a picture with, uh, I forgot his name now, but you can see kind of the, uh, size comparison between that and a human person. <laughs> um, but, uh, it is amazing. It is an amazing piece, and, um, P2 is super pumped with the exo suit from District 9. By the way, uh, they did an awesome job. It looks great, and um, I can't wait to have it in my collection. That's 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 it. I can't wait to have that vision in my collection, man. Woo! Awesome, awesome. All right, all right. I think um, all the pictures of the exosuit went through, hopefully, and um, you saw the awesomeness. Last but not least on the list <laughs> is the uh, District Nine Christopher Johnson and Son statue, which are awesome. Um, again, saw this uh, in person at San Diego, and um, they do they just exactly like the movie. I think David, I think they obviously took the, uh, the the files from the movie, and that's how they got the statue. So you know, you're getting exactly what was in the movie. Looked awesome. The uh, the the paint apps were awesome. Um, what do you call it? The base. That's what I'm gonna recall. The base. You know, it's all nasty, like the like the dump they were living in and. You know, it is it is pretty cool. It is pretty cool. So I'm I'm pumped with that too. I mean, District Nine. You know, I'm a bitch for District Nine. That movie was fantastic. Um, I can't wait till they pump out a uh, a spaceship, the spaceship, the mothership thing. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna be nice. Um, how big is it gonna be? Woo! That's a good question. <laughs> People at the uh, Shadow and uh, Flame board wanted to uh, they wanted they wanted to float. So they were they're trying to see if they could find something to make it float, you know, with magnets or whatever. So instead of having a display base, um, you know, like a normal base, it would have the base, but it would be floating. So that would be pretty good, guys. But I don't see that happening. Anyways, um, that's enough for Weta and for this episode. That's that's it. That's all I got for this episode, I think. Yep. So uh, again, I appreciate you guys um, watching everything I do. You guys are awesome. Um, I do try, I do respond to everything. You got any questions, please just email me, like always. And, um, and yeah, my next stop will be at the, what do you call it, Celebration 5. So hopefully a lot of Star Wars awesomeness for you Star Wars fans. Awesome! So, yeah, I think that's it, bitches. So, uh, this is P2 signing out from what's crack like into a world. You guys rock. I love you all. And uh, thank you for watching. And I mean, I can't thank you enough. You, you bitches rock. So, late!